guys think you have to be against Virginia this time didn't do first time? Um, I say first off, we just got to play a, a full 40. Um, stay consistent throughout the entire game and play, pretty much just play the way that we played last time, last game in the second half and at times in the, I mean, in the first half and at times in the second half, I think if we just play how we know how to play and that'll get the job done. You, did you come out of the game thinking, you know, we held them to two out of 17, three point tries? We held the guy in Jerome about three pointer. What, what else can we do? I mean, how that kind of people. Right. Um, we definitely did the things that we wanted to do. We we just had to. We had one. One. We let one of their players um, pretty much just do what he wanted, and that's what lost us the game because we held now. I mean, two of their best players. So it's just a tough situation when you do something like that. Um, take a team that actually shoots pretty good from behind the arc and hold them to two for 17 and still lose the game. It's just a tough situation, and you really think about that. Puff got a lot of minutes the second half, but, but normally Salt would be the guy there. He doesn't really score a lot, but he's such a big presence. How, how do you, what's your priority when you're defending him? Um, just to stay aggressive. Uh, you want him to know that you're there, and I mean, you're not going for anything easy. A, pri a big priority is blocking him out because he, he's a great offensive rebounder, so just doing little things like that and making sure I'm holding my guy to nothing. What about turning around you offensively against him? Um, you want to get <clears throat> try to get some things going to the basket. I mean, because like you said, like I said, he's aggressive. So I mean, he's going to be aggressive right back. But you want to go in and you want to play through that contact and try to get some finishes. <coughs> you want to try to use some quickness. This last game it was a stretch. Actually, it started at the beginning of the game. It looked like you just kind of decided you were going to get every rebound. Is that a mindset that you're kind of working on right now? Mm, yeah. It was, it's definitely a mindset that I want to work at, just just to get myself more rebounds. And I mean, if I get the rebound, I mean the offensive team can't get it, so it's good for the team at the end of the day. Chris Max referenced you know, turning you into more of a back to the basket kind of guy. Have you felt that transition go, you know, progress throughout this year? Um, yeah. Um, it was a little tough at the beginning of the season, but I can see myself progressing and getting better at it, and learning how to do the little things better. So. It's working out pretty good right now. Is that last you know, performance that you had a good indicator of how you're progressing? Um, yeah, it felt really good. Well, when you do something like that, I mean, it's just a big boost of confidence for you. How do you, how do you feel about going in there where they hardly ever lose? You know, they beat you the first game and won eight in a row or something. I mean, how do you psych yourself up for a situation like that? Um. I think the second just has to come natural. Like, we know that we're going in and we're playing the number two team in the country who has won, I believe, it's seven or eight straight now. Um, just lost to them. For me, like, I've lost to them four times now. So it's just big wanting to get this next series going where I get a win. You said you've, loved, you've been on the four, team, four teams that are teams that have lost to them four times. Yeah, in the past is, two years. Yeah, is there a common thread there as far as why? They've been able to dominate Louisville like they have. Mm. I'm really not sure. Uh, I think the only thing that we have to do better is just put the game together. Like we had, I think it was two times last year where we had the opportunity to beat them, and, and then we had the one time this year. So it's just putting the full game together to get the job done. What have you guys worked on this week? I think you got a little time off, didn't you? Really? Um, yeah, we had a few days off. And then, so what? When you got back to work, what were you fine tuning? Mm, just the little things, making sure that we rebound, because I'm not sure how we did again, rebounding wise the first time last time, but just rebounding, um, execution on offense, and just being locked in, going back to us defensively. You played against Virginia four times, as you mentioned. What is it about them, in your opinion, that makes them so good defensively? I think that they got. They keep all five guys on the same page, which really helps a lot because I mean, like, there's no open gaps or mistakes like that. So when you got all five synced in like that, it's really tough to score on the team. They like to double the post a lot, and they liked it not to last time. Do you expect to see that again? Or if they do um, not double, what's the plan? I mean, we've been preparing for both. But um, if, if they do choose to not double again, me and um, 
fellow posts like Steve and uh, Coy, we we got to make it. We got to make it to where they need to. I mean, we can't just be out there. We got to score baskets if they're going to give us one-on-one -on -one coverage. Since you guys. Theoretically, I guess, play the same type of defense. Can, do you watch them and say, this is what we need to do, that's how you play the back line? A tad bit, not too much, because you always want to go off your own principles. Like, you know, it's the same things, but you still want to do what you do, right? Like, they might have a different team, like IQ wise and things like that. So it's not really too much of watching them and trying to do what they do, just knowing what we got to do and doing what we need to do. Malik, last regular game of the season, Coming off the last time you guys played, it was disappointing. Is there an edge with this group right now? Um, big time. Uh, we want to end the season, I mean, 2-0. We, we want to win it out, of course. Uh, it's the last one of regular season for like three of our guys, the seniors. So we just want to make sure that they go all happy and go into the ACC tournament and tournament in good spirits. Great. Thanks, Malik.